me, but you feel beautiful. That's the only thing that matters. When you walk in the room, you walk in with your head up, with your nostrils flared. You finna get some money. Yeah. Biggest. I so y'all tell my man. Why he? But I just want you to know, this what I want Why, yo. Wait a minute. Am, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Let's talk about it. Why he started off the motivational speech talking about, you know you ugly? Huh? Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might be slow a little bit. Maybe I'm missing something. You know you ugly, but you feel beautiful. That's the only <laughs> you know you ugly, but you feel good. What? <laughs> you know you ugly, but you feel beautiful. That's the only thing that matters. When you walk in the room, you walk in with your head up, with your nostrils flared. You finna get some money. Yeah. Biggest. <laughs> Alright, so y'all check my bed out. Y'all see it, right? But I just want you to know, this is what I want you to know, Jesse. I saw you swagging with that Amiri on. And I know you fucked with Amiri. But the way you look, baby, you should bring back baby fat right now. She do look like Kamara Lee, right? She do, she do look like Kamara Lee, don't she? That's great, okay. I'm gonna get somebody to get Kamara number. Kamara! Baby, but why would you get Kamora number though? Baby fat not even popping no more. Come on now. What kind of shit? Art Basel is what we used to call it. Now we call it Art Bel Air. That's right, Art Bel Air. Art Week, welcome to Miami. This is your personal invite from the biggest boss in Miami. Make sure y'all holding up the Luke Bel Air bottles. Make sure you enjoying your art. All the amazing artists, welcome to Miami. Everybody that's doing their thing, have a safe, um, bossy week, you dig? He always going to do some promo with that ballet in your face, ain't he? Yo, I'm at, see, look. Now, I got to talk about this. Jamie Foxx, for trying to be cool, trying to be around Diddy and, like, Rick Ross and stuff like that. He was saying too much stories from the party. And Jimmy Fox, bro, you had a stroke. Like, not even a stroke. You was poisoned. And I feel like you should chill out. You should you should give it. You, yeah, you got to chill out, gang. It's about that time, bro. Because if you ain't learned from partying with niggas the first time and getting laced, you should not be partying with them same niggas again. Because then all it's going to lead you to is back to where you was at. You know what I'm saying? And I say this because I used to watch the Jamie Foxx show and shit like that. Like, I, I rock with it, you know? So, I don't want y'all to think that I'm just here just chatting, bro. Like, I really like the Jamie Foxx show. So, I feel like if if you like the Jamie Foxx show, y'all got to tell Jamie Foxx to chill the fuck out, bro. Because he's wildin', bro. It's not that deep for you to still be in a club with the same niggas that laced you. Like, come on, bro. Like, we should not be seeing you here, bro. Now I gotta listen to um 
<laughs> at Kanye West's um graduation, man. That joint was different, man. They had Jamie Foxx on there, and he was he was having a good time. I just want to say, man, um, from the bottom of my heart, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Now that I got my camera set up, it's not like a face cam. It just feels better. It feels more professional. You know what I'm saying? Definitely trying to make sure, I, you know, I cater to y'all, you know?